What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi taking a look at this really, really cool Solaire from Palomino. This thing is massive and it has a lot of really nice features that I think you're gonna like. So hang tight, I'll be right back. As always, let's start by taking a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 8,920 pounds. Honestly, I thought it would be a bit heavier, so that's not too bad, but it's almost 9,000 pounds, so you definitely wanna be sure you're towing this with the right truck. And in my opinion, the right truck would be a properly equipped three quarter ton or greater vehicle. I wouldn't put this behind a half ton truck. It has a relatively low 1,060 pound cargo capacity. So you gotta be careful how much you load into this. Rides on 15 inch D-rated tires and 4,000 pound axles. Not D-rated like underrated tires, but you know, the letter D-rated tires. Let's take a look at the dry weight. This so, you know, unit's gonna have a dry weight of 7,822 pounds and a relatively long 35 foot two inches step back and take a look at this real quick. You can see that it has two slides over here. They're both rack and pinion slides, which I really like. Dual propane cans, electric front tongue jack. And then I thought I had another slide on this side, but it doesn't. Anyways, we're gonna start inside of this unit and then we'll work our way to the outside. So this is the Solaire from Palomino. This is the 304 RKDS. Take a look at all the stickers here. It has the alpha ply roofing membrane. Anyways, step inside. So right when you step inside, right off the bat, you can see your GE thermostat, all of your controls right here, your RV link booster up here, and that's also gonna be a router as well, which is really cool. And you have a, I believe it's a light switch down there. But as we pan around, you can see that this is a rear kitchen, mid living room floor plan. So you have, eh, this is more of a love seat, almost the size of a sofa, but more of a love seat right here. This turns into a bed. You have nice blackout blinds as well as daytime shades as well. So you have the screen and you have the blackout blind, which I really like. You have some sconce lighting over here, nice freestanding dinette. This area is actually really cozy looking. You have four freestanding chairs here as well and a nice size window right there, as well as a window behind you because this is all one large super slide, three foot. It's kind of your extended depth slide as well. Nice radius ceiling to it. Here's your kitchen. This is a rear kitchen unit. This would be your pantry space. And then over here you have a 12 volt Everchill refrigerator. Nice three burner gas cooktop, along with your micro compact microwave. Lots of nice cabinetry around here. And then here is a really nice long window that is over this great countertop space. So you have a lot of countertop space here. I thought there might be an outlet under there, but there's not. You have an outlet right here, so your coffee station would probably go there. And then really nice long and relatively deep drawer there. You're gonna have an outside kitchen on this unit, so that's why there are no cabinet doors here. And you have nice space here for your larger pots and pans. Nice little drying rack on the sink. This is a single basin stainless steel sink. Another cabinet right here. Good place for glasses, things like that. You have more cabinets that run across the top here. There is no slide on this wall, so this unit only has one slide in this area and then one slide up front, so two slides total. You have some really nice recliners in here. They don't rotate, so you'd have to kind of slide them in the position you want, but they come on these little pieces of carpet that make it a little easier and prevent it from scuffing the floor. Nice little table in between with some power connections, USB ports on each side. You have another power connection right there. I do wish they would have put one back there. Drawer over here. That's a huge window too. That window is probably all of six feet wide, maybe three feet tall. Nice size TV, looks to be about a 45, 48 inch TV. You have some cabinets above and a 
nice kind of compact panoramic fireplace below it, but I think it looks really nice and it's really comfortable in terms of the overall execution. So you could easily kind of position these chairs to look at the TV. This one, a little bit different. It would have probably been pretty nice to have two more of these chairs and just have four recliners, but I only say that because you would have to crane your neck a little bit. So yeah, the TV does come out on an articulating arm and you can position it at the love seat. So that's nice, but then it kind of creates a problem for the people sitting here. So this is a little bit strange and you'd have to figure out, you know, your seating accommodations, but that's only when you're watching TV. If you're out enjoying things and just coming back here to relax, you might not care about it. Friction hinge door. Stepping into the bathroom area. Nice porcelain foot flush toilet. You have some wardrobe space right here for your toiletries as well as towels and such. Nice curve to this wall. Has a fifth wheel size shower, which is really nice. It is a two piece shower. Nice little areas to hold soap and things like that. You could be probably six foot three comfortably and fit inside of the shower. You could be upwards of seven foot tall to fit inside the RV. It actually has pretty nice ceiling heights to it. Nice medicine cabinet, your vanity down here, and some storage underneath it. You have your other thermostat right here. So you have two air conditioning units in here. You have one back here, and then you have another one inside the room. And GE, they're not new in the air conditioning business, but they're certainly not as commonly seen in RVs, and you're starting to see more of them. A lot of the reasons why you're starting to see alternative brands of some products is just because of availability. Some brands stepped up their availability and production to be able to meet the demand. Some didn't, and some just, you know, their quality just went really far down, and it's just hard to say anymore. This is a king-size bed, so I can really appreciate that. Full depth slide, so it gives you a lot of room right here at the end of the bed, like a ton of room, like more room than we have in our fifth wheel. You have a nice dresser here with three drawers. And then you have a nice, uh, this is day night. This is just gonna be a blackout shade for the window. In here you have, wow, check that out. Pre-installed Whirlpool stackable units. Bet you didn't expect to see that in a travel trailer. That is awesome. Very fifth wheel like. The front of this RV is very, very fifth wheel like. And it just feels like you're getting a lot in this unit. I like that shelf that they put above the bed right there as well. That is creative. I see a lot of people doing things on the side or way up here, but that is actually really creative because it's relatively low. It's easy to get to and you're not gonna hit your head on it, which I can appreciate. Let's take a look at the front closet space. Fair amount of space, right? So this is at the front of the RV and you don't have too much space to work with, but you have a nice little rack here for your shoes, nice little hanging area for your clothes, not bad. And then you have this really big space right here that you can put things, so sometimes when you get into your RV, you bring luggage with you, that would actually be a good place to lower your luggage so you could keep it in there for the duration of your trip. Under the bed, you're likely gonna have storage as well. You do, you could put quite a bit of stuff in there on nice strut arms as well. Very nice. Anyways, let's step outside and take a look at the outside of this unit. Okay, so starting up front, you can see it has space for two 30 pound propane cans. Also has a power front tongue jack like we mentioned earlier. This is really cool. This actually holds your seven way connector. Keep it from dragging. Believe it or not, in a video in the past, I showed you guys these cool little plastic blocks that you put on the top of Anderson blocks to flatten them out. The company that makes those actually makes those little top cap things and they resell those under a different brand, which is pretty awesome. You have front electric stabilization. Here you have a really nice and thick baggage door that covers up your wet bay. There's your hose for your outside shower. You have your battery disconnect, but that is a very nice Nautilus wet panel on a travel trailer. The Solair is certainly among the higher end travel trailers that are available. Nice slam latch on it as well. Looking under this slide, it is on an eight inch I-beam frame. Very nice powder coat on that frame. It is incredibly clean. Again, all rack and pinion slides. This is gonna be storage underneath your bed. Again, nice thick, heavy baggage door. Good amount of storage, especially for that power cable. Nice slam latch on there as well. Magnetic hold above it also. 
I like how they give you this contrasting tone side to the side of the slides, which is really nice. You have your gray tank release as well as your sewer connection outlet right there. Coming back here, your other rack and pinion slide. Not a big fan of these Castle Rock ST tires. Definitely recommend moving to something nicer. See, this is a perfect application for like the, the Trans Eagle tires where you can have a G-rated tire on a travel trailer. I think this is really like the perfect type of trailer to put those on. And this is cool because they're also torsion axles. So I actually didn't think about that. So there's not leaf sprung axles on here. These are torsion axles. Has the tire pressure monitoring already pre-installed. Outside of your water heater, your 50 amp connection here. Nice little light here. From the back here, this is really cool. You actually have a connection for solar panels already on it, and it's already wired in place. So that is very cool. So you can have your little solar array down here. Spare tire on the back of your four inch square tube bumper, which is really nice. And you have a receiver hitch here. And this receiver hitch is for accessories and bicycles, things like that. It's not designed to haul a vehicle. Outside of your furnace, all LED lighting. There's the outside of your vent for your microwave, so you want to open that, and anytime you go camping, you plan on using it. You see it has an offset rear camera right there. I almost would have preferred that they just put it above the light, but they put it kind of to the side. It doesn't really matter, though, because if you're using that, it's not as if you're, you know, backing up with the type of precision you might need to hitch up a trailer. And then on this side, you have a really nice thick baggage door here with a little clip here to hold it in place. Would have been nice if that was on strut arms. You have a hot point compact refrigerator. Over here you have a kind of cool pull-out sink section. So this is nice because it does come out. Only thing I don't care for about these is you have a hose back there that has to extend and retract every time you pull this out or push it in. And it seemed as if they probably could have utilized the space a little differently to maybe put a shelf here, something that would have been, you know, more useful because this is all completely enclosed, which means whatever's under here you don't have access to. So it'd be nice to have a door or something there so you could put some, some different things you might need. This is a control for your power stabilization jacks. You have a nice light and an outlet there. Nice dual slam latches on this door. Outside speakers, TV connection, power connection. Very cool. This has the Dexter Torflex axles on it, which are those torsion suspension axles. Definitely a nice unit though. It was interesting because I actually thought this unit would have three slides on it and I was a bit surprised when I saw only two, but you still have a tremendous amount of room on the inside of this. So, you know, it kind of makes up for it. And if you don't need the slides, if you don't need that wear component, it's not a bad thing. And they just got this unit in, so I'm not sure what the price is on it. I will try to check back and post it on the video if I find out. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.